Hello, welcome to 101nursing.com and today we will be talking about atrial flutter. flutter. Here we go. Um, how do you know that this is atrial flutter? Do we have a P wave? Yes, we do. We have quite a few P waves. Do we have QRS? Yes, we do. Now, is it, uh, do we have a P wave for every QRS? Hmm. Yes, we do. We might not be able to really tell. I mean, we have two or three for every QRS. Is it regular? Maybe. Let's check with our, 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 the length of our strip. So now, you guys know how to do regularity. Um, how to measure regularity and this is a slightly convenient um, that they have right here two boxes one box here one two three four so no it's not regular this is not regular at all because one is wider than another and I'm measuring with my paper as well and it's not it's not regular wait let me Let me double check that before I go any further. Actually, it is regular. I spoke too soon. Yes, it is regular, but in some cases, it may not be regular. Um, so maybe yes or no. Is our QR interval normal so our PRI our PR intervals normal so let's see one so yes it is normal it has, I, I count four boxes um, for this specific list for this particular one that's a yes is our QRS interval normal one so I count two boxes so yes, that is normal. And remember, our PR interval needs to be between 12 to 20, and our Q, our S interval needs to be 0 0.4 to 12, 0 0.12. And I see that it is normal, and every single box here, again, every box is 0 0.04. That's the measurement of each box. Um, and is the rate normal? Yeah. One, two, three. I'm counting one, two, three, four, six, seven. So 70 beats per minute. And if and again, if you guys want to be more accurate, you can count these boxes. One, two, three. And divide it by 1,500. I forgot to say that. You count the boxes and you divide by 1,500, and you will have your rate. Um, let's get into... Um, the cause. Now you guys see this is an atrial flutter because there's no, you really don't see a T, a ST wave. You see a little one right here, but then after that, it's like a saw like tooth. It's like flutter, flutter, flutter. You know, it's not really a smooth, boom, boom. You know, you don't see P, Q, R, S, T, P, Q, R, S, T. It's P Q R S T P P P P Q R S T P P P P Q R S T P P P P Q R S T. So it's kind of like a sawtooth, and you see these these. That's what. That's how you can tell off the bat that it's a flutter. What causes atrial flutter? Uh, coronary artery disease. Surprise, surprise. Um, pulmonary diseases. Hypertension, or excuse me, hyperthyroidism, drug abuse, um, valve diseases. So if you have a problem with your atrial, your mitral valve, or tricuspid valve, or yeah, mitral or tricuspid. I believe it's the yeah, mitral or tricuspid. You will have an issue. Um, how do you know you have it? What is the sign and symptom? Palpitations, rapid um, dizziness, 
rapid realization of Disney hypotension, saw tooth um, baseline. How are you going to treat this? Increase your atrial ventricular block by using calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, amiodarone, cardioversion, and um, ablation. So cardioversion, amiodarone, ablation, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers. And that is it for your atrial flutter. Flutter, flutter, flutter.